Hey guys, I'm Marcus Imes, Product Specialist here at Haas Automation. Thanks for joining us for another Apps Minute. Today I want to show you around the new TRT-210 and our pneumatic work holding option. As you can see, it's a two-axis rotary that has plus minus 120 degrees tilt and 360 degrees rotation on the platter. It can be used with 3 plus 2 machining, which allows you to complete six-sided parts in two operations increasing the throughput of your machine, or full five-axis tool pass to make highly complex parts. I did some test cutting on the unit, and one feature that I really liked was the fact that we put an oversized brake on the tilt axis. Using an oversized brake means you can cut more aggressively without worrying about overpowering the brake or having to slow down to avoid chatter. We've given you a few different platter options for this unit to suit your specific work holding needs. You can see this one has the standard 230 millimeter platter, which has three different bolt hole circles to attach your work holding. If you need maximum fixturing flexibility, consider the optional 210 millimeter T-slot platter. It has six equally spaced T-slots and allows for easy fixturing of a variety of work holding like chucks, vices, or toe clamps. If you need to get maximum throughput out of your machine, the new zero-point platter system is your answer. The zero-point receiver is permanently mounted to the rotary, and the machinable aluminum top plate can be quickly swapped out. You can buy extra top plates, so you can stage multiple work pieces ahead of time, and then change them out with a few turns of the wrench. The system is also extremely flexible and beneficial if you run a family of parts and do many program changes frequently. With the quick change platters, you can say goodbye to indicating multiple fixtures and losing all that setup time. With the zero point system, you just load the correct platter, load the program, and hit go. Last, if you want to permanently attach a chuck to the rotary, we offer the spindle nose platter, which has an industry standard A1-6 spindle nose that is compatible with a wide variety of three jaw and collet chucks, available from almost any third party vendor. Another option available for the TRT-210 is the pneumatic work holding provision. This option plumbs air through the trunnion body, below the platter, and then through the center bore. Now you have two air ports that sit just below the platter surface and allow direct plug and play connection of the Haas pneumatic vise or any pneumatic work holding. This allows for quick, hands-free clamping or integration with a robot system like the Haas HRP series or any other. Just like all our other rotaries, we have MRZP probe templates preloaded in the software to find rotary and rotation center point, making that extremely easy with our WIPS wireless probe system. So that's the deal with the new TRT-210. The last thing I want to show you is our new pneumatic work holding option. The vise is activated via M code, the foot pedal, or from the current commands devices tab. It comes standard with diamond cut hard jaws for maximum grip, and also machinable soft jaws are available in various materials and sizes as well. Notice the bolt hole pattern fits perfectly to the 125 millimeter spaced T-slots, so you don't have to mess around with toe clamps or subplates, which reduces unproductive setup time. Also note, it runs off the auxiliary air option, so your machine will need auxiliary air to integrate directly with the pneumatic vise. The pneumatic work holding option is a great way to decrease load and unload time and increase the overall productivity of your machine. At the same time, this reduces operator fatigue and the risk of repetitive motion injuries from clamping and unclamping a vise repeatedly, which both operators and owners will appreciate. Another benefit of the system is it ensures you have consistent clamping force regardless of the operator, shift, or time of day, so you can kiss crushed parts or thrown parts goodbye. So that's what's new for this week. Thanks for joining us for another Apps Minute. We'll see you again soon.